With only a month to go until Mass Effect Andromeda sees the light of day, we got to thinking about the various reasons Bioware's latest entry in the series is almost like a greatest hits compilation of the very best bits of Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3. The truth is there's so much more to it than that, so much more in fact. Mass Effect Andromeda might just be the biggest and best Mass Effect yet as you step into the boots of Scott or Sarah Ryder to lead the Andromeda Initiative and find a new home for humanity. Here's how Andromeda is like a greatest hits mixtape of all the best that Mass Effect has to offer. First off, it's more of an RPG in the Mass Effect 1 mould. Despite being great games, Mass Effect 2 and 3 were widely criticised for leaving behind much of the RPG components that gave the first game so much depth. The good news is, the RPG bits are back in spades for Mass Effect Andromeda, with XP to earn, level based progression and points to spend on skills, weapon proficiency and other attributes. What's more, you can switch classes, or profiles as they're known in Andromeda, whenever you like, so you're not restricted to being an adept, sentinel, soldier, engineer, infiltrator or whatever. Remember the Mako from Mass Effect 1? That's effectively back for Andromeda, except this time it's called the Nomad, and it's drastically improved. Sure the Mako was cool, but you have to admit it was a bit of a pain in the arse. The Nomad is a far more robust version of the old Mako, with big chunky all-terrain tyres that can handle almost anything, and an extra traction setting that enables you to grip to surfaces at the touch of a button. Sure it might not have the weaponry that the Mako had, actually it doesn't have any weapons, but you can go really fast with the boost. Vroom! As for romances, they're far more layered now, so whoever you choose to romance in Mass Effect Andromeda, you'll have far more tools in your love arsenal to woo them with. Not only are there way more dialogue options now that the binary, paragon and renegade options have been dispensed with, but you can also just flirt with romanceable characters, or have one night stands if that's the sort of lover you'd like Ryder to be. Just remember that just because your name is Ryder, you don't actually have to ride everyone you see. Oh, and loyalty missions are back too. Yes, one of the best bits of Mass Effect 2 has been reinstated for Andromeda, as you can earn the unwavering loyalty of your crew members by completing their loyalty mission. There's a catch. Chances are you won't be able to unlock them all in one playthrough, as there's a careful tightrope to walk in garnering trust among some characters that can then in turn lead to mistrust in others. But loyalty missions are back, so while you can't complete them all in one run, they're back. So there's that. It's also worth noting that side quests are handcrafted and narratively meaningful, and you can still interrupt at pivotal moments. So that's good. Drop it now, you first. If you're just spoiling for a fight, however, Mass Effect 3 fans will be happy to know that combat has been massively overhauled for Andromeda. While some criticised Mass Effect 2 and 3 for being more third-person shooter action than RPG, Mass Effect Andromeda is hoping to please all camps by marrying its RPG depth to fast-paced tactical combat. Fighting the Ket means thinking smart, outflanking them before they close in on you, using cover and your environment to your advantage. And now that you can use your jetpack to boost into the air, Ryder can also dodge to the left and right, hover temporarily, or just get out of danger quickly. And the versatility doesn't end there, with loads of weaponry to choose from and plenty of upgrades to acquire during your epic journey. Just bear in mind you can't have your squad perform abilities on command, and calling up the radial menu doesn't pause the action anymore, so quick wits are a must. This goes a little against the game's otherwise tactical leanings, but hey ho. And there you have it, just a few reasons why Mass Effect Andromeda is going to be incredible when it launches next month. Now we play the waiting game. Nah, the waiting game sucks, let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos. And then we'll play Mass Effect Andromeda when it launches this March.